number one. Okay, swali la kwanza sasa. I listened to all the classes on the baptism of the Holy Spirit. True. Yaani jibu ni kwamba ndio kuhusu ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Number two, I've listened all the classes on the new birth. True. Number two. Yep, number two. Ubatizo ule kule kuzaliwa upi kuzaliwa mara ya pili jibu ilikuwa ni kweli. Namba mbili. That's the classes on the new birth. Hayo ni mafunzo au mafundisho yale madarasa tuliyojifunza kuhusu kuokoka au kuzaliwa mara ya pili. Number three. Kwenye swali la tatu I have listened to all the classes on water baptism. Kwamba nimesikia madarasa yote kuhusu ubatizo wa maji. I've listened to all the classes on water baptism that should be true. Kwamba nimesikia mafundisho yote juu ya Uh, ubatizo wa, ma, wa, wa, wa maji na jibu ni ndio kwa sababu amefundisha masomo yote alihama huko number 4 uh, swali la nne it should be false ni sio kweli jibu ni sio kweli namba nne knowing your identity in christ has a lot to do with your confidence kujua utambulisho wako katika kristo unahusika sana na wewe kuwa na ujasiri au kujiamini. So that question answer is false. Kwa hiyo jibu kwa namba 4 ni, ni sio kweli. Number 5 true. Namba 5 jibu ni kweli. Number 6, namba 6 true. Jibu ni kweli. Number 7, saba true. Jibu ni kweli. Number 8, namba 8 false. Jibu ni sio kweli. Number 8 is false. Namba 8 sio kweli. Number 9, namba 9 false. Sio kweli. You're already blessed. Tayari wewe ulishabarikiwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That doesn't mean you don't go to apostles and prophets and have them pray at times, but that's not your source of blessing. Na hiyo haimaanishi kwamba usiende kule kwa mitume ukaombewa. Unaweza ukaenda ukaombewa, ukaenda kwa lugha lakini sio maombi yao sio chanzo cha wewe kubarikiwa. Number 10, namba 10, true. Jibu ni kweli. As children of God, we are in Christ and Christ is in us. Watoto wa Mungu tuko ndani ya Kristo na Kristo yumo ndani mwetu. Number 11, 11. When Jesus was tempted in the wilderness by the devil, the devil tried to get Jesus to question his identity. That is true. Kwamba Yesu alivyojaribiwa, Shetani alikuwa anajaribu kumfanya Yesu awe na maswali juu ya utambulisho wake. Jibu ni kweli. Very important point. Wow. Jibu ni kweli. Number 12. 12. There are two Separate foundational experiences with the Holy Spirit. One is the new birth, the second is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Kwamba kuna mapito mawili ya msingi tunayopitia katika ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu ambapo ni kule kuzaliwa upya au kuokoka na kule kubatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu. That is true. Hiyo ni kweli. Number 12 or 13? Kumi na 13. I can be baptized with the Holy Spirit and not speak with tongues. Naweza nikabatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu na nisinene kwa lugha. That is false. Ni uongo sio kweli. That is false. Sio kweli. And we showed you that every place where people received they spoke with tongues. Tulikuonesha kwamba mahali popote ambapo watu walipokea Roho Mtakatifu alinena kwa lugha. Number 14. Kumi na nne. When the baptism of the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost, the religious Jewish leaders were drunk on religion and lost the main point of the Old Testament. Kwa siku ya Pentecost baada ya Roho Mtakatifu kuja wale viongozi wa Kiyahudi wa dini walilewa dini na wakapotea katika njia ile njia ya agano la kale. That is true. Hiyo ni kweli. And we showed you that in Isaiah 28, the prophetic verse. Tuliwaonesha katika Isaia 28 ambao ulikuwa ni mstari wa kinabii. Number 15. Na hiyo namba 15. The disciples were born again before the day of Pentecost. That is true. Kwamba wale wanafunzi waliokoka kabla ya siku ya Pentecost, hiyo ni kweli. We showed you that in John 20. Tuliwaonesha hayo katika Yohana sura ya 20. Number 16. Namba 16. Mary the mother of Jesus was so special. Mama Mariam, mama yake Yesu alikuwa ni mtu maalum sana. That she did not need to get born again or baptized with the Holy Spirit. Kwamba yeye hakuhitaji kuokoka ama kubatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu. And I pray that everybody put faults there. Na ninaomba kwamba kila mtu alisema sio kweli hapo. That is faults. Yaani sio kweli kabisa. Number 17. 17. 
Every believer is to speak with tongues. It's to sign it is a sign that is to follow them. Kila muumini kunana kwa lugha ni ishara ambayo lazima iambatane naye. Every believer is to speak in tongues. It's a sign that is to follow them. Kila muumini kunana kwa lugha ni ishara ambayo inatakiwa iambatane naye. And we showed you that out of Mark 16. Tuliwaonesheni hayo kitabu kile cha Marko 16. So that is true. Kwa hiyo ni kweli. 18. 18. Through the baptism of the Holy Spirit we have dynamite power to go forth and witness for Christ. Kupitia ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu tunapata ile nguvu ya mlipuko aina ya baruti na kutuwezesha kuwa mashahidi wa Kristo. Kila mtu asema asante Mungu kwa ajili ya baruti. That is true. Hiyo ni kweli. Number 19. In the parable of the good Samaritan katika ule mfano wa msamaria mwema we have a great teaching tunafundishwa kuu about the fall of man kuhusu anguko la mwanadamu the redemption of man ukombozi wa mwanadamu the new birth and baptism of holy spirit kuokoka au kuzaliwa upya kwa mwanadamu na ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu and jesus coming again na kuhusu yesu kurudi tena that is true hiyo ni ukweli number 20 namba 20 When we speak in tongues, tunaponena kwa lugha, we charge up the man on the inside. Tunaimarisha au tunaongeza nguvu kwa yule utu wa ndani. So that it's always ready to release God's power. Ili awe tayari siku zote kuachilia nguvu za Mungu. And that is true. Hiyo ni kweli. Number 21. moja. When we pray in tongues the Holy Spirit prays through his perfect prayers. Tunaponaomba kwa lugha Roho Mtakatifu huomba kupitia ndani mwetu kwa maombi makamilifu. 21 When we pray in tongues the Holy Spirit prays through his perfect prayers. That Tun- is true. Tunapoomba kwa lugha Roho Mtakatifu huomba kupitia ndani mwetu kwa maombi yaliyo makamilifu na jibu ni ukweli. 22 To be a witness for Christ and do the works that Jesus said we could do. Kuwa mashahidi wa Yesu Kristo na kufanya kazi zile ambazo Yesu alisema tuzifanye. He commanded us to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Alituamuru tubatizwe kwa Roho Mtakatifu. And that is true. Hiyo ni kweli. We saw that in Acts chapter 1. Tuliona in, tuliona hayo katika matendo ile sura ya kwanza. 23 sura eh, na, namba 23 The baptism of the Holy Spirit is not for us today. Ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu sio kwa ajili yetu leo. It stopped when the last foundational apostle passed away. Yaani ubatizo huo ulikoma baada ya wale mitume wa kwanza sasa yule wa mwisho alipofariki. It was only for the early church. Uli, uh, ubatizo huo ulikuwa tu kwa ajili ya kanisa la, la mwanzo. Faults Uongo. Tell your neighbor faults. Sio kweli. Mwambie sio kweli. And I showed you that. Na nilikuonyesha hayo. In great detail. Mm, yaani kwa undani sana. 24. 24. Peter was baptized with the Holy Spirit and preached with boldness on the day of Pentecost. Petro alibatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu na akahubiri kwa ujasiri siku ya Pentecoste. Peter was baptized with the Holy Spirit and preached with boldness on the day of Pentecost. Petro alibatizwa kwa Roho Mtakatifu na akahubiri kwa ujasiri siku ya Pentecost. That is true. Hiyo ni kweli. 25 25 I can be born again. Ninaweza nikaokoka without speaking in tongues. Bila kunena kwa lugha. I can be born again. Naweza kuokoka without speaking in tongues. Bila kunena kwa lugha. And that is true. Hiyo ni kweli. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So how did you do? Sasa mmefanyaje jamani? Wangapi wamepatia wangapi wamekosa hapo? You did good. Najua mmefanya vizuri eti. Amen. All right, Amen. if you could turn your papers in to Bishop and uh, Bishop us <laughs> Jingalis and they'll have a record of it. Na nafikiri tutakusanya sasa hiyo mitihani yetu eti.